QuickBooks Desktop Pay Bills. Hey everyone, this is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University. And here we are in QuickBooks Desktop. I'm gonna show you how to pay bills uh, in the software so that you do it right every single time. So here we are on the home screen. Now we're gonna, we're using a sample company file. We'll make the assumption that you have entered all of your bills correctly. So what you're going to do when you're ready to pay bills, you got one of two options. You can go up here to the vendors and just click on pay bills. That's the easiest way. You can also go to the vendor drop down menu and also go down to pay bills. OK, so we'll click right here and you'll see it takes us to the pay bills screen. Now, a couple things I want to point out here. First of all, you can choose what bills you want to show. So you want to, if you want to show, okay, we have bills that are due on or before a certain date, you can enter that, or you can say, show all bills. Uh, you can also filter this list, whether it's just a certain vendor, uh, you can choose that and just choose up, uh, just choose that certain vendor that you want to show. Uh, you can also sort by various ways. All right, so we have due date in here. And so this due date is going to be this column. Now, that's typically the way I like to look at it, because uh, when we pay bills, we will say, OK, we're going to pay all bills due by you know, next Friday, whatever date that is. And we'll check off those bills. Now, there could be some that we want to postpone or whatnot. And you can certainly check or uncheck which ones you want to pay. Over here, you've got the vendor, the reference number, uh, the discount date, if there is one, the amount due, discount used, credit used, and amount to pay. So you'll see here, if I check one off here, let's say bank of any city, you'll see here that it says $1,000.33. So that is because that is the amount due. So a couple of items here when we look on the rest of this screen. You go down here, you can actually go to the bill if you want to take a look at it, if it does have a discount associated with it. And what that means is that the vendor gives you a discount for paying early, typically. You're going to click Set Discount. And if there are credits available for this vendor, then you'll see them show up down here. So if I go up here and see if we can find one in this sample file with a credit. I don't see any in here, but if there were credits, then what you're going to do is click on set credits and I'll show you the screen that it brings up. The credit will show up here. You check it off and hit done and it will reduce the amount you have to pay. It's going to show up in this column down here. The payment date is is going to default to today's date uh, and you can, of course, change that. And then the payment method. This is very, very important. A couple of things here. So right now it says check. So this assumes we are paying by check. If you hand wrote a check to pay a bill and didn't do it through QuickBooks, then you're going to assign the check number. And when you assign the check number, you're going to enter the check number that was on that handwritten check. Now, if you are printing from QuickBooks, then you will say to be printed. Now, you also have other options down here. You can say credit card or bank payment, and you can put in various payment methods. Now, if you pay by debit card, or let's say you pay online electronically and it just comes out of your checking account, leave it on check and assign check number. And when you do, the check number you enter is going to be EFT or debit or online or some way of signifying that it was paid electronically. You don't have to put in a check number. All right, so we'll leave it on a signed check number. And then of course, the account that this is coming out of, this is the checking account. So now you're ready to pay your bills and we'll go in here and let's say that we check off a couple of these. And so if I leave it on a signed check number, once I click pay selected bills, I'm going to have to assign a check number. If I say to be printed, it's going to save these bill payments up under here. When you go to file and you go to print forms and checks, you'll see a listing of all the checks that need to be printed out of QuickBooks. 
So we're going to say assign check number, and I want to show you here what this does. Now, one other thing before I do that is when you look up here and let's say that Express Delivery Services, we have a bill for $6,000. We only want to pay $2,000 right now. Maybe the other $4,000 is in dispute or we just don't have the cash. You can go to the amount to pay, highlight it, and change the dollar amount you want to pay. You do not have to pay the full balance. When you do that, QuickBooks will now show that the amount due is 4,000 after we pay this $2,000. So it will track for you the remaining balance to pay. So let's go down to pay selected bills and you'll see here we have to assign check numbers. Okay, you can let QuickBooks do it, but it probably will screw it up. So you say, let me assign the check numbers below. Again, if these were physical checks that you wrote, you would enter that number but we're going to put in EFT because we did these electronically. All right, so we put in EFT, we say okay, and the bills will be paid, and you'll see a nice little payment summary. These were all the bills that were just paid, and you can either pay more bills, or you can click done. We're gonna click done because we are done paying bills. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below and I will see you in the next video.